the, the bear and the, the old quarter horse, they uh, checked each other out and got closer and closer and they actually uh, touched noses and then walked away from each other and they uh, been no problem with them ever since. They, the, bear, the horses don't even pay attention to the bear. He's out there, especially in early spring. He's out there in that grass, munching on grass and rolling around and uh, horses don't even pay attention to him really. So, and uh, I chased him out of the barn and uh, the back end of the barn I had a gravel truck parked there and I thought he had run down the creek but I looked underneath the gravel truck and there he was on the other side looking back at me so we had a little <laughs> stare at each other there for a little bit and then he wandered off and uh, that bear is just, he's kind of part of the farm and, and he doesn't cause any problems. Well, I was driving to school one day and he was on a pile and, I, and the road was right here and I was driving to school and we saw the bear and my mom stopped and honked the horn and it ran up to the top of the hill. We could still see him a little bit and then we it honked it again and it ran over the hill. The end. Seemed like a friendly bear? Eh, kind of. And you live in Alberta, hey? Yep. I used to live in Alberta. I live here. Guys, okay. Thanks. You tell them, okay? Arizona, hey, wow. Yeah. You get the dog's life, it's a horse's life. Yeah, the dog. Oh my god, we're going Thank you.